Hi there! What's the script, darling? What part do I read? In the midst of our finding a better way to live journey, we felt a longing for a bit of rest. And rest we did find at this beautiful community, Mount of Oaks it's called. But something inside us started to tickle and we couldn't resist making a little movie. Mount of Oaks is a small community in central Portugal. Two families live together here and experiment with permaculture, simplicity and living more in tune with nature and each other. We're not necessarily a biological family, but we are creating a small-scale family where, where we share, where we practice vulnerability, practice openness, and we grow as more whole beings when we understand the importance of sharing and interdependence. That's what I'd like to say. Comedy moments. <laughs> we welcome, welcome the day. day. Help us to overcome differences and misunderstandings. For me, living in community is absolutely about accepting that conflict is normal. We practice something called the examine, which is a really, 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 really old practice. So the question you can ask daily or weekly, and we ask weekly with each other is, what gave life to me this week? What took life from me? Where was I able to give and receive love? Where was I completely cut off from that? So with these two questions, we understand then what we could do more of and attempt to do less of. Mm. We are in the northeast of Portugal, Mount of Oaks, it has it all. Building with natural material, very sustainable. This structure is a camping kitchen. And it started by mistake uh, on a building course that the students wanted to make a round straw bell wall. So they're like, okay, let's build a round wall. Then I didn't know what to do with this uh, round wall. We were joking to be a stage or to be to have movies, <laughs> movie sessions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I thought, you know, to make a storage place. And eventually I thought maybe a camping kitchen would be nice here. People enjoy it a lot yeah, yeah. because of the bar look. It feels like a cocktail bar, right? <laughs> yeah. These bottles were from our 10-year anniversary of the land, so we made a party. And this is just our soil mixed with straw and is amazingly strong. Just soil and It's just straw. our soil dug there, over there, mixed with oh, straw. Yeah. And yeah, you can't say it's really... I trust this is strong. <laughs> the camping kitchen can be used by visitors. Hosting visitors is one of the sources of income for Mount of Oaks. Other income is generated by offering soap making workshops, fermentation workshops, natural building courses and meditation retreats. So this is the water storage for the dry months. But how does this also become a warm shower? Step one, as long as this old rusty diesel tank functions, it pumps the water up from the pond. And from there, it goes to this solar heater. And here it's all about simplicity and using salvage materials. It's designed with this old gas tank and reused insulation material wrapped around it. The hot water is now stored in the gas tank up there. So it's time for my warm shower, so get out of here. I think one of the biggest challenges of living living and working in a place are creating the boundaries between your personal life and the work life. You have to be so disciplined about rest. The, one of the most important things is about dis discipline about rest. We practice various disciplines and one of them is rest. We're going to cut some, some uh, mimosas. Samosas! <laughs> I'm thinking about food, clearly. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I don't know how long I can keep going. Yeah. That's actually really effective, eh? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so the cutting part was just fun and now it's the hard labor of taking it all down. The simplicity of taking time to really appreciate the food that, that we grow and then eat. The simplicity of taking time to smile with one another or sit down over a cup of tea. There's something about peeling back the speed that we, that, that we sort of feel like we grew up with. We have to kind of consume everything. We have to consume every experience. It's got to be big, bah, bah, fast. We attempt to consume less and live more in harmony with the rhythms of nature. It 
contribute so much to our own personal well-being. If we would all live simpler, you know, there would be enough for everyone in the world. I've been thinking these days that I already think I have too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, because electricity comes <laughs> and a fridge comes and a roof comes and you don't see the stars anymore. Mm. So it's creating this balance of not wanting more and more and more and be <laughs> satisfied. Maybe I should just go under a tree or enjoy the sun. <laughs>